This video is brought to you by Asub12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Asub12 and today I'm just going to be going through a very useful option in Blender called Subsurf. So, open up Blender. You'll see the DOS box pop up and Blender will open eventually. Okay, so you have your default cube here. Um, I'm just going to delete that by pressing X and then it will ask me if I want to erase it and I'll click yes. And um, then I'm just going to spawn a couple of objects. So I'm going to add um, a UV sphere. Oops. Over here, I'm gonna well, over here. I'm gonna add an icosphere. I'll just take that, uh, take both of them out of edit mode, and finally, I'm going to add a monkey, monkey face, really. But anyway, right. So um, as you can see, all of them are a bit sort of square and um, we can change this in fact um, for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna have a cube here as well okay so now we've got our four objects what we can do with the monkey face let's start with that first we can so we've selected it by right clicking it and you can go um, click this button here on the on the buttons menu and go add modifier and press subsurf and now you'll get this thing pop up and your monkey head will become smoother and you can add more levels and it will get even smoother there's a point where it just gets too smooth that there's no point in adding more subsurf and if you have too many levels of subsurf it will start to lag so um, what you can do is you can say you think 5 is nice but it's gonna lag if you have it on 5 you can turn that down to about 2 and then put the render level to 5 which means when you render it it's gonna have 5 levels of subsurf so that's a useful option um, seem to be selecting two objects here. I think I'm going to have to delete them. So just add them again. Okay, so now I'm going to select this one. And you've got to add a, um, modifiers uh, with each different object. So I'm just going to add subsurf. And we can smooth that out into a nice smooth ball but, um, with this one just add the subsurf modifier and it's already broken down a bit we can add a couple more levels and eventually that will just go into a sphere as well so we can put nice patterns on it by putting like two levels of subsurf three levels it's a nice pattern as well but that's just um, so nice like that and finally, with the cube, if you right click it, we can add subsurf modifier, and it will actually start making it into a sphere. So if we add even more, three levels that is now, and if we add more, it soon becomes a sphere. And um, I'm just because six is a very high subsurf level, I'm going to have it on about three and put the render level up to six. this up to 5 and then if we just zoom out a bit we can right click our camera or we'll press naught on the numpad okay it all looks like it's in that box now so just take um, particular notes of this and that which we changed uh, which we only added a couple of levels of subsurf but we added lots of levels of render subsurf so we're just going to render you can do render render current frame or you can press F12 
and now you'll notice, even though this was um sort of square when we originally had it, it's turned into a sphere because we changed the level, the uh, the render level, and this is also a lot more smoother. So its subsurf is extremely useful if you're um, trying to create, uh, let's say, uh, recreate a face model. You can just spawn the monkey face, and um, you can play around with him, and you can add him. Uh, you can add subsurf to him, and that gives lots more detail. So I'm going to be going through um, basically see all these. If you see all these yellow lines and dots, you can actually select them and then you can pull them out or in and stuff and you can actually change the face, you can change anything with that see all these, you can pull them out so you can make weird shapes so that's what I'm going to be going through oh and I almost forgot, there's um if uh, if you don't want to like for, say for the cube if we just lower the level of subsurf actually delete the subsurf if you just want to make the cube look smoother and not like turn it into sphere, you can in this um, menu in buttons menu, you can just click set smooth and it makes it look a lot more smoother. Um, I'll just demonstrate this with the monkey. Okay, so he looks really ugly right now. And if we just click set smooth, it's gonna put it like a, I think it's a default subsurf level, but it looks a lot more neater and it looks far nicer so if you don't want to subsurf you can just set smooth and it makes it look decently well perfectly good I think um, try this with the we can just click set smooth and it doesn't actually turn it into a sphere it just turns it into a smooth icosphere okay so it's another useful option that does turn it into a sphere really because it's already a sphere but with this one it doesn't so and then you can just set it back here you can click set solid to put it back to its original thing anyway this has been a tutorial by sip12 over and out